Delighted to be joined by Dundalk centre half behemoth Brian Gartland. Brian, how did the celebrations go over the last couple of days? Yeah, it was good. It wasn't wasn't that major. We uh, went out Monday night, had a few drinks, not, not mad, and then we were back in in the afternoon on, on what was it, Tuesday to do a little now. So I know you've a big game coming up in that in the cup, but as a squad, and look, you've you've got loads of chances to celebrate over the last couple of years. You've won so many trophies, but. How important are those nights where you do get to just let your hair down, have a couple of beers with the players and just enjoy each other's company? Yeah, it is really important and I was saying to a couple of people inside earlier there that there's been years past where we, we haven't got to celebrate certain things because you might have a game three days later so you can't you can't have a drink, you can't even go out, nothing like that. Now it's not about going out and getting plastered around like that, it's just like you said mentally switching off for a night and um, we're in each other's pockets all year, we spend so much time together that it's nice to in a different environment and a bit of crack, you know, be able to do that. So that was really important for us Monday night, but um, at the same time, it's it's only six days or five or six days to the next game. So you've got to uh, to celebrate, but within, within the means. We've seen some incredible goals in the League of Ireland this season, um, but Michael Duffy's the other night, and it wasn't even just Michael Duffy's control and strike. The kick out from Rogers, the first time pass from Dave Massey, McElhenney's control, shooting the ball, off, yeah. it was a magnificent goal. Um, is that something that was worked on on the training ground or is it just something that spontaneously happened? Yeah, it's it's something we work on, obviously you have to work on if you're trying to play out, people stop you from playing out, you've got to have different options and you have to react to how the other team set up. So it's up to players as well then to, to recognise what's happened. Um, if teams sit off, they just give you possession and you, and you come out easy if teams push on where do they leave the space you have to leave a bit of space somewhere and this and that so every player that's involved there that you've talked about has recognised uh, whether they've been there or not so we just have it instinctively um, you know where the space is the opportunities arrive in there and everything just tied in perfectly and um, like you said you've gone through it from, from Gary to Dane to the, the massive pass was just yeah, like was from a kick out hit a first time, time like yeah. that and then Patrick back in any strength and you know awareness to hold him off and he knows Mickey's going to make that run and uh, with Derry they just have that connection I think and <laughs> Mickey goes through and it's only one thing and Mickey well actually it's probably not in Mickey's mind there <laughs> but he's just got such talent that someone on the bench I won't say who I think she out pass but uh, <laughs> you want him shooting there because that's all they do nine times out of ten um, so look you got to focus your mind now Sligar Rovers semi-final FAI Cup the pressure's on now to complete the treble. Hasn't been done in 30 years, only ever done once. Um, do you feel that pressure? Do you, do, you, do you think about it as, you know, as three trophies or is it just, you know, we're just thinking about this Sligo game now? Um, no, it's not pressure. It's, it's, we're going for the treble, that's that's it. We've, we didn't come out talking about the start of the season, but we've always said every every trophy that's there, we want to win. So um, it's always an ambition, but you don't have that in your head the whole time. You just think one game ahead, one game ahead. You know, you look after that, and you, you look after yourselves, and um, if you're good enough, you'll have that opportunity when this stage of the season arrives. So when it comes to when it comes to uh, Derry Pounder passes there. That's something he did he? Um, and uh, <laughs> when it comes to this stage of the season, that you're in a position that way. That yeah, you you just think about the next game. So I know it's cliche, but it is. You don't think about the FA Cup before Monday. You, you know, you only think one game. And, um, if you if you do the job right, if we do our job right. We've, we can win every game that ahead of us with, this, with the squad we have. So um, yeah, it's it's firmly in our in our sights now. Obviously, with two trophies in the bag, and um, hopefully, but it's it's a long way to go. It's two games. It's a semi final and final before you lift that trophy. So you can only think about. Yeah. And when well, you haven't lost many games this season, you have mm -hmm. lost a Sligo Rovers. Yeah, and deservedly so. Um, you were so good off in that game. Did you get the Shepherds Cup? Yeah, I got an absolute <laughs> got a hook taken <laughs> off in there. Um, and we deserved to lose. Uh, I was poor that day, and you know, it was the whole team were mm -hmm. we were all poor. We didn't perform well. And uh, Sligo, it's a tough place to go, especially when the crowd, big crowd there. Oh, fair so enough. For, um, so for yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Because you know, uh, but we have a big crowd going with us with 800 inside us, so you know we'll have a great support there as well. So 
um, that was that was down to us. So it's it's not an easy game, and it's a semi final as well. So you know, Sligo going to be at the top of their game. Their energy level is going to be top. This is you know they're safe. This is their season now. This is what it's all about for them. Everything comes down to this. Um, so it's it's going to be a, a battle of a game, and uh, hopefully we'll come out the top. And Liam Buckley, their manager, is an FAI Cup winner as a player and a manager himself. So. You know, some, sometimes you get that with some of the certain manager or players, they, they just have a, a certain relationship with the cup, so it's definitely something that me and Bucky want to do well in as well. Yeah, he's, he's a great record, like you said, there in a cup, so do we, you know. So does, so does that Gaffer, yeah. you know, as, as player he was there and as manager, and I suppose as coach the last few years, he's been involved and the same with so many in our sports, so um, yeah, it comes down to the day. Just what happens on the day, but we can only look after ourselves, so you know, we don't be too, too concerned with, with elsewhere. Obviously, we prepare to what we think they're gonna play and what way they're gonna play, but um, we've got to look after ourselves and make sure we do what the business. And that's all you can do, you go up and you do your best. And if it's not good enough in the end, we've let ourselves down somewhere. You know, we haven't, you know, we haven't performed somewhere, or we haven't done something. Um, but uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's, it's a big, big game, and no matter how many finals you get to, you don't get sick of coming and playing in this place. No disrespect to Pat Hoban, um, but taking penalties away, Romeo Parks is the top scorer in the league. Such a handful when he's on his game. Now, I know he probably he could probably add a bit of consistency to his game, but when he's on fire, he's just so hard to play against. You've played against him, so why is he such a dangerous striker? Um, he's big, he's physical, he's quick. Um, he's got the knack of, I suppose, the ball, you know, falling in front of him at times when he goes on, goes on runs, goes on dribbles. Um, I think it's his power that brings him through, you know. Um, so he can be a handful like that. So you're gonna make sure you, you curtail him that way. Um, his goals speak for, speak for, um, how he's performed this season. So, listen, but. They've got quality all over. Ronan Murray, I thought, in the first half yeah. uh, in our game there a few weeks ago, he was excellent for them as well. It was David Cawley, the two of them linking up. You can see Cawley's just looking for, for Muzz the whole time. Um, and then they've. The they centre halves as well there, don't they? Yeah. Um, Lee Man, Man's yeah. a young lad, he's, he's big, he's a monster of a lad. Mm. Young and he's getting better the whole time. But um, they've a they've good team, mix of experience, youth, you know, energy and that sort of thing. And, Footballers, like I said, Moz and and Cody, you know, good footballers in, in the heart of the team as well. They've got a bit of everything, so um, yeah. But I suppose you, you touched on Parks; it's, it's got to speak for itself. Mm. And just to ask as well, Brian, you know, you're coming towards the, the close of the season. The, the league is, is all but wrapped up. You guys have you know big games against Derry City, against Bohemians, two teams in the race for Europe. You know, and I know there's a lot of people around the league kind of wondering, do them dog because they're focused now on the cup, do they take their eye a bit off the league? Or are they going to show the league respect in regards to team selections, all that kind of thing? What would you say to that kind of talk? Um, well, we've rotated all year. Mm. And we have two for every position. So no matter who you put in, we're just strong. And I've, we've said it all year, we've done it all year. Like, um, it's, that's been our policy a lot of the time in a lot of positions with rotation. So that's going to continue. So people think, um, it's disrespectful. We'll, we'll see if, if it is when the results come out after because we're aiming to win every game, even with the league one now. You want to go and win every game going forward.